Right. Uh, so thank you all. So our special guest today is Peretu Korhonen from Finland. Uh, Peretu is one of the most innovative um, boat designers out there at the moment, innovative, um, adventurous, and also just funny. Um, some really amazing designs that he not only comes up with, but oh, makes I'll them work. Wait. <laughs> well, it makes them work so they're not stupid and and um, and actually uses them. So um, really an inspiration for most of us in this group. Um, so yeah, hopefully we've got some lots of questions. Um, and Petra is also famous for designing well, a lot of things, but both including the Ocean Explorer, um, the Carabao, um, which has already got a lot of interest on the Facebook group and um, the crocodile, which is one of my favorites as well, <laughs> the kayaks there. Um, so over to Peretu, thank you for your time. Thank you for you. So Peretu Corona is actually a really difficult word to say, name to say even me. So I don't like to say <laughs> myself so many hours there. So I'm gonna first text, tell something where I live in Finland and then a bit of history of how I came to boating and building boats. So I live in Finland in Northern Europe and uh, always have a feeling that uh, we don't have anything special here, only trees and waters. And when I take a look at the map, I can see that we really have waters. So that's a good place actually to go exploring. And according to this dictionary book, this is a new, new version, I don't know, updated version. There's 190,000 lakes in Finland, lakes and ponds. Many of are really really small, but we can take a look at the map if you have the picture one. It doesn't seem here, does it? No. So this is the picture of the map. I live in the Hyväskylä. There's in the between the world lakes and there in the east, east south Finland, there's lots of lakes and waterways to, to find. Can we take the next next photo? And there's the map of that previous one. That's the photo of Lake Saimaan. There's lots of lakes, uh, islands in the lake. There's about 13,700 islands and the so. Sore line is 14,500 kilometers, 14,000 kilometers, yes, 15,000 kilometers. So look at the islands, it's actually a bit easier to design paddling trip. But if you go to the same boat, it's a bit difficult to go between islands. I previously say that the wind can, wind direction changes quickly. You go in the other way of the islands, the wind bends its way between the islands. It's sailing can be a bit tricky in waters like this. <laughs> And if we look at the next map, it's, it's in the Baltic Sea, and this is between Turku and Åland archipelago. There's 14,000 islands there. And if you compare to Pacific Ocean, there's which have 25,000 islands. So there's lots of small islands in the, in the sea. I haven't done trips to the with boats, those this archipelago, but definitely going to make so it looks so interesting even to me. The next picture shows, shows me in the, oh, this is a, when, I take, when I was paddling, there's a lot of summer cabins in Finland because there's so many lakes. So people go to holidays to summer cabins and saunas are always included. Them. And if we go to the next picture, there's my grandparents' summer cabin where I am in a, hitting something 80s and we put those rafts with food and they have two rocks or something in the buoyancy. So we stick power it and explore, explore the sores with boats like that. And we would lots maybe over 10 of those during the times. This is me and my cousin, cousin in some, somewhere like this. And uh, can we show the next picture, please? Here's my, <laughs> our first boat. We, we bought this, it was half boiled someone and we put the rest of the beautiful cabin. When we were a little older and we mainly 
sail it with the wind and repair the engine. It was really terrible. We have the logbook and there's some mentions and we eight hours spent repairing the engine in some island and things like that. It's, it was really terrible. And then the next picture we rebuilt the cabin later and it get a bit better, but it was too small boat for that, that kind of purposes. Okay. Pictures. Is there any more pictures in this group or was that? No, these, these are the, the, let's do, let's look those later. So that's how I got to boat building and like we talked a bit earlier that I mainly built boats, in, built boats in winter because the winter time here is really, really long and winters are cold and dark, sun doesn't much shine, can be that you don't see the sun in a couple of months and it starts to be a bit depressing. And that's maybe one reason why there comes some stupid ideas which are time to build. I think now I'm a bit older and hopefully a bit wiser and I don't start every project that comes to my mind. So let's see. But uh, the windows are also cold, so it's expensive to, to heat garage or, or something like that, but you can do sanding in outside and something like that but we can watch the first video if we want the winter battling or what's that and that's not building but i sample those later for that Sorry, do you want the winter. this one? The winter one. Oh, sorry. That's our from our backyard, actually. It's minus 20 degrees Celsius here. It was pretty cold, but there's some current on the, on the river, so it doesn't get ice. This is on screen. So that was a stupid video, but I don't mainly do paddling on winter, but just mainly take it for fun. It's nice to build, build boats in winter, but somewhere they in the coast. Sea coast, they can almost battle over the year, but depends on the winter how cold the is and this to see gets ice. But here is, I don't know, half a year is about you can go in the waters. I have here the big pictures from building boats in winter. If we could take a look at those, if there's anything anyone want to say. Oh, sorry, Let's do you want to take the pictures? Pictures of the window pictures. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh... Not this set, but there's the window. Window set. Yes, this is in the window, oh. actually. Well, this is, this is also in the winter, yeah. so there might be a lot of snow in the winter. 
you can go stand and do things outside if there's the uh, the boats don't get wet on the, on the snow it's not if it's below zero degrees but and sanding is good to do outside because there's so much dust in the earth that you can't do it in the carriage that's no problem but some parts when the kids were small I, it's difficult to leave kids alone in the house and go to garage building boats so i done lots of things that i got in the kitchen now the kitchen has repaired so i don't do that anymore it's <laughs> why, why it's not true my wife don't like it here's our last home this is before the, we repair the kitchen so we are lofting hitting nails through four millimeter plywood it's a good thing to <laughs> attach them to the kitchen floor and love the flop the lines kids like to hit the nails and take them off i have some video somewhere but that's the first of all the preview so the next next picture is when i'm building the ocean explorer here my girl that's my our previous flat it's for row holes and this it's in the winter my girlfriend left to africa for four weeks so that's how my home look look then now I have a garage so I can build the gluing with the box and stuff. It's not, I built one pot with an box in that, before that in the kitchen, but <laughs> that's not the best place to bring a box in, in the kitchen. I don't like it. So what did your house look like when your girlfriend came back? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> this story doesn't tell it. <laughs> I don't remember. Not not like this. Yes. So that's it. What's next? So I built this before I have this boat before I have kids and when we now I have three kids and I always like to do smaller camping trips trips with boats. So when the kids came, I was thinking that we need the boats where I can take kids with me. My wife don't like sailing, she he hates the rigging and if the boat heals, there's a bit of panic in the air. So, so we started to paddling and building with a bigger boat so we can take kids with us one night and two night trips. And it's actually a nice way to go places with kids, they don't, kids don't like or want to walk long distances and there's always a lot of gears, gears with you have to take with so in the boat they you can you can transport them easily i have one video there with family family battling but we can watch that next This is when we have two kids, a smaller boat. This is the same boat with Trimarara version. Terrible weather at that trip. Here we are in Lapland, going upstream. Sille, kaksi meloa ja kaksi nukkuu. Siellä nukkuu kaksi, eikä nukkuu on täällä kolmas. Ja missä se yksi nukkuu? Yksi nukkuu siellä. Kaksi tässä meloa. Ei meitä enempää tähän maahan. Kolme nukkuu, kaksi meloa.
Hän me jää Robinsonit tänne saarelle. Sinne meidän kelttapaikka. Ai kelttapaikka. Mm. <tos> 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 Venäen oppi. Oli kartta kiva. Toisella toisella hyvä. se olikin vähän matala. Oliko mä täällä? No on tässä mä täällä. Jees tässä. Viit. We will be caught by thunderstorm. And after that the kids don't want to go battling anymore. <laughs> I think there's some, some reminding from that. I never experienced thunderstorm like that. It came so quickly and blow, blow over us. The, lucky we were close to Sora, so we could jump up and take the boat with us. But it was exciting. Do you hear me? Oh, sorry. I uh, just, just had some audio problems. Okay. okay. Uh, would you like to play the next video? Yes, we can take the... Let's watch the camping place. I think that's the next one. Okay. But there are lots of islands in, here in Finland and uh, you can camp anywhere you want. There's, if there's not someone's house or cabin just right you or there's not a natural park or something like that you can choose your camping place where you want and we are so north so the it's in the during the summer it's really light all the all the time and the sunsets are really long so it's a nice time to be on the water and there's lots of places to Cold, there's small islands and the sandbars, sand beaches, if you want, found them.
Here's our tent sauna, first one. Okay. Now we can watch the photos I have. What's the canvas named? There's some sandbars on the photos. Uh, sorry, just a sec. Um, let's back up. Oh, maybe. Uh, these ones? This, this one, yes. So there's lots of, uh, no, I don't know lots, but there's, uh, after the last ice age, there's a sand uh, ridges over, over and below the water. So there's places you can, where the, the come, what's this common? I don't know. It's the ridge, ridge between two islands. Or, so they can be underwater or below oh. the water. You can look those pictures I have there. Yep. No, they are nice to nice to found places, but found places like this. There's sand and there's trees and looks very nice. This is place where it's very long and you can walk to the next next island. You see there it was found. There was quite big uh, wind, don't see it here, but there was water about half a meter, maybe. It was fun. Also, for kids, they like a lot of things like that. Yeah, these are little bond shots from the drove. <laughs> swamp, or oh, swamp. Here's my, we can look these photos like this, but my kayak in this first kayak I bought a little boat and you can get bigger adventure in a smaller trip. We look the next, next picture, maybe my first paddling trip I made, <laughs> I don't know. All the camping gear in that coffin and even five liter water, that's the big thing to carry in a, on the water in the lake. But <laughs> Yeah, big adventure and small trip. Feels like a big adventure in the boat like that. Can go on. Next one, please. Here's my, I was carrying my backpack kayak in the Lapland. It's, it's a near, uh, it goes to Finnish, one of the Finnish, Finnish um, popular hiking road and there was some people are coming, coming against me and I was just carrying that boat on my back and I didn't say anyone anything. The only couple of people asked something about the boat. But I was just <laughs> saying, I, no one, no, almost no one asked anything. <laughs> they all, all too polite to say something when they saw you. Mm, yeah. <laughs> wow. There's one, you can look my shoes here. I have Crocs, they are really good hiking and climbing boots, really nice grip and <laughs> it's a bit, um, it's taken with 360 camera, so it's a, there's a bit fish eye effect, it's not that. But here's my kayak, which I built, there's a, you can, I can use 17 foot or 15 foot version, but I don't, I use only the 17, but it's so much nicer to paddle with 17 version. I have right here, the, so with the bow, bow of the boat. Oh. And here's the version of the 50 of the shorter one. You can see big difference in the <clears throat> shapes. So is that completely interchangeable, or do you have to have the same bow and stern pieces at the same time? Sorry. Is it completely interchangeable, or do you need to have the same uh, bow and stern pieces at the same time? Uh, yes, you can switch all, all the way you want, but it's designed to 
so that there's only 15 and 17, but you can switch yeah. as you like. There's no problem. Yeah, that's good. And there's the part you can put the wheel, wheel on it and it goes quite nicely. If there's an eight fallen trees or big rocks or something, something it's actually quite quick to set up. It's not, not bad. And I, I found this kind of product. I don't know. This might be interesting. In thing is also this. I don't know. Do you know this? It was new, new for me. It's rail, rail place dinghy wheel. You put those in the dinghy transom, and you can rotate this and. Pull the bow and put the boat on the water and then lift it up. Mm. I put one piece on the kayak and I can use and this can go inside the kayak. So it's actually really nice. And I can put the wheel, wheelbarrow wheel against them so there's little suspension in the air if I want. I think that's nice. Nice to wear. Yeah, it looks nice. And if we look at video the development of the backpack kayak. Mm. Okay, here's a problem. Backpack. Can I ask how much the backpack kayak weighs? That one. Yeah, that one. How much? How heavy? Ah, uh, there's about 12 kilos. 12, 12, 12, 20, 12 kilos. 12 kilos. I, I saw, okay. I saw, so. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but I think it should be lighter, but I, I can't put any lighter. Okay. So it's not nice. now I can throw it behind me like that. And if there's difficult terrain, I can lift it on my back. But when I have all the gears within, it's maybe 13 kilos. Okay. So I love nice. the I, I love the paint. It. I love the paint job. I love your I love your paint jobs. They're fantastic. It's, it's made for you. <laughs> <laughs> so do you see my screen now? Yes, it's, it's built from this. This is 1.5 millimeter plywood. And here is my wife's best scissors. OK, now we can... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's my garage, garage scissors. So this is really nice material. I can cut it like this. Wow. Wow. It's pretty durable. Yeah, These are, those backpack kayaks are made from this. OK, still I end up in 12, 12, not 20, 12. 10 plus 2 kilos, which is 12 kilos. <laughs> okay. So, kilos so it, it, does it have fiberglass outside? Outside the. Um, no, the only, only on the seams. So this is the bow. This is the bow one. It's only only in the seams. Okay. Okay. In the bottom, in the cockpit part, in the bottom, there needs to be runners and two layers of glass in the middle, but nowhere else. But still, I get too much, I think. I, I don't know. I. I tried this another one, a bit different shape from the previous one, but I can't get it any lighter. I don't know mm -hmm. why. Maybe I'm not putting light. Putting light. No, it's pretty, so it sounds, it sounds pretty light to me. That's good. Yeah, yes, show, show, us, yeah show us how it connects. The, bow how does the connectors work. How do you. Okay, how the do bow you and the stem, that this doesn't weigh anything. All the weight comes from the cockpit part. So that's where it should be. But just joined with. With this, if this would be the bulk, bulkhead of the central okay. part, so that this is yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and here and o-ring, o-ring seal and hand knob, and it's hundred percent water, but no problem. Okay. Very simple. This is, that's very good. There's a big difference in that very short boat. If I compare it to this is the longer one, this is a bit over five meter. It's so much nicer to paddle with this longer boat. But if I look speed in the GPS, it's not really that big difference. You 
my thing, but the feeling is really different. Really different. But it's not terrible difference in the time, but have this one, it's one special feature in this longer kayak that it has actually one panel in the middle here, so it makes the bow round and it should be better on the downwind paddling and actually it is. But these short kayaks, I don't have any skeg or skeg or anything like this. this uh, there's no, maybe it's due to the shortness, but there's no water cooking at all of those. So maybe all things, the length of the kayak for that. Yes, if you see in the video, I put the second version of the backpack kayak. I was first thought that I put the, the, the double version so I can put another cockpit between the, uh, between the stair and stair and other cockpit. But then I dismissed that now I won't do it because it's the 1.5 millimeter plywood and it won't take the stress, I thought. But when I put it, then I thought, I'm gonna going to try it and I put it anyway. And now I can get it 100% smooth because I didn't take it into account when I'm drawing the final lines, but that's how it goes. <laughs> I have to redraw it if I'm going to continue it. Let's see. Okay, what's next? I have there are two more videos if I remember this. Filming with 360 camera. We could take a look at that. So I use a lot of 360 cameras and get nice views, views with. <laughs> So those were all shot with 360 degree camera. It's nice to just film and afterwards decide what you show. It films everything and you can rotate and get some drone-like views. Yeah, so what is that a um, Insta360 or a different one? Yes, Insta360R. That's right. So they took those. Many ask that how is that film, but actually really simple to do, and mm. it's so nice. Mm. Mm. I don't know the words. I, I don't say <laughs> English, is, English is difficult at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, now they're very cool cameras. Yes, I have one more video. I think that's a dinghy, dinghy cruising video. I collect all the videos I found from sailing. That's all videos that can be found from a net. YouTube or something else, but I put some, some together.
Yes, that's it. So I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, I don't have anything to ask. Yeah, I'm sure you got lots of questions. That that was really great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so who has questions to, to ask? Um, just raise your hands. We you have questions. I'm sure you have quite a few, Gary. Ah. Um, <laughs> I do have many questions. I'm not even sure where to start. Um, the the um, uh, Osgoose one, has that got the full Osgoose sail on it? The 80 square feet, the Osgoose Explorer of the, with the cabin? Mm -hmm. Sorry, does, I didn't under, do, understand. Does the, 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 the last boat, the, the with yes. the blue the blue top side yes. yes yes um does that have the 80 square foot sail the big yes the the same, big same, yeah same sail as also eraser or ocean oh, oh, okay okay so i have even the same mast is in the plans the mast is bigger in the oh it's according to mixed plan it's all goose or set goose has a bigger Mast, but I use the same mast in every, every boat, and I haven't managed to break it yet. Okay, okay. And um, the so with with the cabin, does it do, in terms of your trim where you put your body weight on the boat? Yes. Does having having the cabin change change how you have to sail it at all? Not much. In the last video, where I have three kids and I have an old yeah. boat motor into that, so it's really back wasted in, in that whole that video for okay. sure. But I don't, I don't think so. It's a okay. bit. It takes a bit wind um, resistant, maybe, but uh, no, yeah. not yeah. not much. Okay, okay. And you and you really can sleep in it. You you can. Yes, it's, it's, it's lots of space in, in yeah. both also like the. Goose, goose version has a really big cabin, even it's a bit lower, but uh, yeah. really big. Yes. I, in the Ocean Explorer, I have sleep many nights there, no problem. Okay. And even I even sleep there with my two kids okay. in the Ocean Explorer cabin, so that there is space. But okay. if there's three people, three people in the cabin, there's <laughs> okay. not much need, space, you need to be space good for yeah, years anymore. <laughs> So the kids need to be small. You know, that's a, yes. that, that, they're, yes. they're not allowed to grow anymore. They'll have to stay yes. small. Yes, yes. No. no, that's just so, I'm so impressed with that design. I think it's wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. I, I, I really like your approach of um, like small, cheap boats. You know, I, I think that's right on the money that that's, you know, you're much more likely to use them and explore and take them different places. It's um, it's it's really good. Thank you. Yes, uh, thanks for you. And uh, that's one reason I don't ever or try to uh, varnish my boat. I use rather paint. I can, yeah. I don't have to be so precise in in building. I think I could build and varnish them, but the, the true of re reason I can build quicker. And the paint lasts longer than varnish. And if there goes water inside the mm -hmm. structure and inside the painting or varnish, if there's varnish, I can see directly that there's mm -hmm. going to be water problem. But if there's painting, I can see that there's rot or what water going in, and I can happily paddle one more year <laughs> without knowing <laughs> there's damage coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not maybe the good reason, but. That's how yeah, it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's good. Thank you. All right. Uh, next question, Simon Bunker. 
Uh, I was just wondering, do your kids have a favorite boat? Ah, good question. I don't know. I have one boat for them. That's the small duck boat. They can play by themselves, but they like go whale trip and I like, and I'm not sure I have I built the whale for those or myself. I, <laughs> it's nice to be stupid and go whaling. I don't know. They, the boys, especially they are now with it a bit older and they don't like to sit in the boat and just wait. They like to do with themselves and they paddle in the sorry by themselves in the little boats, but I don't know. They don't like motorboats at all. I don't know why. My grandfather have a motorboat and I asked several times that let's go have a trip, but no, no, no motorboat. I don't know why. <laughs> and I think I get a bit scared then a couple of times when we were that thunderstorm in the paddling. So mm. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I haven't asked. I don't know, do they like boats at all, but they don't like to play in the sorry with boats. But I don't think, they, are they super fun of boating yet? Yeah. But I think there's some memories to be late. Yeah, definitely. What's later? Mm. Let's see. I don't know. Mm. I think the rare one memory. is definitely memory. You guys have them? Uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that paddling in the thunderstorm would be a lifelong memory. I think that was that look look. Yes, and it's fun. <laughs> it's fun that I have the three hundred and sixty camera yeah. and it records all the all the all the way down. I, it's accident. I didn't have to film it, and it was on. I, I found in that. You can see when I pop up in the boat, and it looks like there's a grass or something. That we were going to after. Way. We were in the middle of the lake and there was that uh, grass, no grass one, um, sand ridge below yeah. the water and, and it was one meter deep all the way, maybe 200 meters to the island and I pushed the boat, run on the water to the island and we camped there. But mm. It came so suddenly, Ivan. It was not regular thunder mm. because it came and I don't know, maybe 100 kilometers an hour, it just pushed over as the thunder and surprised. Totally, yes. Yeah, we have we have a, a joke here in, in this group that the video never looks as bad as it really was, but that looked pretty yeah. bad. <laughs> um, David, you're next. Yeah. Um, hi. Um, I was just wondering with um, the the Ocean Explorer and the um, Osgoose Explorer. Uh, mm -hmm. I only know I just passed on the Ocean Explorer. I had the one to mark. Elliot Rankin built, and I, I've just passed it on to Brooks. Um, I only know of two in Australia, Ocean, I, 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 only because I saw a video in Queensland of one other. Uh, but where are they mostly, uh, where are the plans mostly sold, and, and how many do you know of that's been built, and, and where are they, where around the world do they usually get built? That's a good question, and I don't know the answer. I... I only sell, do the duck works, duck works, and they sent me. I haven't counted, but there are several. I don't know, maybe thirty to fifty, maybe. Do people I get don't in know contact where. with you? Do people Sorry? contact you? No, but I don't get feedback. Maybe really, really. Mm. Sorry, I, I lost the words. I don't know. <laughs> Really, not often I don't get feedback, so I don't know. I don't know where they are built, but uh, maybe in US and Europe, and I don't know. And, and between the Ocean Explorer and the Osgoose Explorer, the um, sailing, are they much different? Um, is the 12 foot one a lot qu quicker, or do yes, they, it's, it's in terms great. of handling weather, which are they much different? Yes, the Goose Explorer goes faster because the, it's longer and it goes in the plane. But it needs quite a lot of wind to hop in the plane. And on the handling, the, I think it it goes better upwind, the Goose Explorer, because it, it, the Ocean Explorer, it, it has some wind resistance. 
to its side. So I think it's it's a bit better. But somehow I like the Ocean Explorer, maybe even more. So it's so small and handy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do I answer your question? Yeah, I, I, thought, I I think that I have a, a tactic that if there's something I don't know how to answer, I don't want to answer. So I'm I'm going to. Is there any other question, please? <laughs> Mumber drew my hand, and so nobody don't get the idea what I'm saying. Right, uh, Robert, you're next. I uh, just two questions. What? How many boats have you built? That's difficult one also because if I have built one boat, one midsection, and four two stair and two bows is that one and two and two boats half boats two and two now i have built one kayak which have two separate cocktail cockpits is how many boats is that around 30 i think not not exactly number i haven't count but around 30, 30, not 30. how many days a year can you go out in finland out Sorry, and no. use your boats. How many days of the year can you go out and use your boats? It depends how uh, you mean it by the weather or by my wife. <laughs> well, I was saying by the weather. <laughs> well, it, the ice breaks about in a early. So there's six months. What's that? Not. Before summer, February, April. I look in the poll. Let's <laughs> wait a second. I took victory. Uh, our, our six month is June, but that's your summer, so June. that can't be right. <laughs> so. No, no, the previous month. Uh. Oh, May. 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 Yeah, in the in the start of May, the ice breaks about, oh. and you can battle depends. It's been quite miserable in the November, so half a year maybe around. Looks beautiful where you are. Sorry, I said it looks beautiful where you go, where you are. Yeah, thanks. It, it looks like if, if I'm living here and you ask people what we have here, but we have nothing. But if you look the map, we have lakes, and most beautiful places are found on the lakes and the islands, and that we go. I haven't. I have mainly done in the lakes because I I live near the lakes, and there's some distance, maybe 400 kilometers to the to the ocean. So I rather take that time to driving to and I am paddling or sailing, and I also can take the water to make food and drink from the from the lake. So that's much easier. I don't have to carry the water with me. That's one benefit. But real sailors go to the ocean, so I'm not real sailor or better. Looks good. Thank you. A uh, question from Michael Storer. Um, he's asking, how did you learn to design in wood? How do I know? Do I know? Oh, I've always done something with my hands, so I don't know. I'm a designer in my professor. profession, so what I do for a living. But I don't know. I've built my whole life something that's like my kids are doing right now. They are building tents and cars, cars, play cars, and anything they can, they can make. And it's difficult to, when I do it by my kids, it, it's, it's impossible to say my kids that that won't work. He just says, it will, it will, it will. So it's, <laughs> it's difficult. I'm saying it won't work, and he says it will work. It will work. And sometimes it even works. Hmm. I don't know. I, I just start thinking, thinking something. and putting it in the paper and uh, yeah so what, what does the process look like like do you just sort of imagine i want a boat that looks like a whale or do you <laughs> do you sort of start somewhere and end up with a, a different idea along the way or is it like a long usually, long usually it goes in that i say my wife but do you know what i have a boat idea she, she says oh no <laughs> 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 that, that's how it goes <laughs> and i I just keep thinking of it, and, yeah, yeah. and then putting a model, model, modeling into computer is very easy to 
modern mm-hmm. computer nowadays, and it is the progress mm-hmm. very, very much. That's how it goes. Sometimes <laughs> I take too quickly the decision to start building the board, and I notice when I'm building that this should be done something a bit different, bit different. So it would be good to take a little bit longer and think, rethink it twice before starting building. But mm-hmm. that, I'm not that wise. I have a question, sorry. Uh, yeah. I can't find the uh, raise hand button anyway. Um, yeah, I, I just realized uh, today how many lakes there are in Finland. I thought there were some lakes, not that many. So that's amazing to find out. Um, so with having so many lakes, is um, hobby boat building a, a popular thing? Um, and also, are you aware of other builders of, uh, let's say, slightly unusual uh, boats in your area? Or like, do you have uh, meetings or uh, unusual boat shows and things like that? Yes, you might talk. You might thought that it would be popular, but it's not. Many, many just buy boats and don't build it. But there is, if I take my bicycle and go biking, I know here in local area too, who are building kayaks in their garage, but it's not something that any caterings or it's not usual that people build boats these days. These days. I, that's sad because it's not, it's not, it's, maybe people are wiser, I don't know, but it's not common. There's only a couple of plants I have sold in Finland and it's not very usual. But I know some, some builders, but the, it's not a common, common way to do boats here. The traditional way is to build boats in with, not locks, but lumber and tar. Start the old boats, but not the plywood boats or something. It used to be, I think, in, in 70s or 80s, it was more popular, but not really popular now. So, how, how did you get onto plywood design then? Was there any particular motivation that, that set you that way? I don't know. Someone is coming. I don't know. I just start building. I, I do it woodworking all my life so it was easy to, to do boats and I got my grandfather's garage and I could use it in the winter and it just started. Uh, Gary, question? So what's next? Have you got a, got anything on the drawing board coming up? What, what's, what's I have on my, on my head only only one, but I'm not going to put it. I'm that twice, and I'm not going to say it anything. <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything. I'm, I'm trying not to put it because I have so many boats that uh, I yeah. I don't need any boats. Mm. But let's see, let's see how it goes. Mm. Do you have any any disasters? Any sort of? Oh, if you don't want to talk about it, that's okay. But any any design that just didn't work and and you know was a complete disaster. Or did you find a way to make it work each time? Completely disaster, I think. I built many kayaks. Kayaks and built one open canoe. And it's, I have one video in the YouTube there, but it was too, too tippy for two people. It didn't work, but not many. I have, I built many kayaks and I, I have, I found it very difficult to find information about how what affects the kayak designing and building and uh, try to tip what I can can learn and then there was situation that I didn't couldn't decide which one is better so I put them both <laughs> both versions and, and test them that's the hard way to, to do it but and if I I try to uh, uh, I, don't, I try to improve the kayak designs and uh, if I now go backwards and try to paddle some both early boats and they are there's ex- uh, with the one boat especially and it's really good and I, th- I haven't used it a long time it's actually better than the 
couple of seconds once, so then maybe I could somehow it back board. Try to continue another other way from that. Not really disasters. Okay, um, question from Peter Green, who's a member of the group. Um, he's asking what what snacks, what food you carry in your in your boats when you go when you go cruising and camping. What food? Oh, what, what snack food? Snack food. Mm. Oh. I have bread, of course, and uh, sausage cheese. That's must. <laughs> All kind of. I my favorite is the I don't know it's the uh, rehabilitated potato. What is it? I don't know. I don't know the food word in English. Oh, probably potato potato chips or crisps. No, no, that's food. What you? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the words, but some rehabilitated. I've I've done a lot of like bushcrafting. Sorry. Uh, uh, fritters, uh, cooked f potatoes, like the mash, uh, like the mash, mashed potatoes. They have prepared mashed potatoes. <laughs> no, it's not going to be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you want food. And, and with boating, you, you can take so much better food comparing to hiking. So the weight is not issue. Even if you're not carrying it, the boat on your back, then it is the issue. Oh, hang on. Did you mean did you mean dried mashed potatoes? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. So that yes. guys, this is Deb. This is the, <laughs> <laughs> the de de <laughs> All right. Some cool. butter and have you have you tried it with onion? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Uh, any more questions from people? Uh, it's another question from Michael. So, um, what what do you see as the role of humor in design? I think obviously Michael and probably a lot of us think your designs are very amusing as well. Um, wh where does that come from? It comes from my mum. It comes from my mind. <laughs> I, I don't know. I use some time to, for visual parts of the boat. It's important. I think I like color colors. And if you take that whale, for example, I make a lot of sketches so it looks like a fun just not just put it quickly and I don't know I don't know where that crocodile, uh, crocodile came from I just first one look it it looked so fun so I have used it several times and it's if you have a fun looking boat it's nice to take pictures against the summer set or something if the boat boat looks fine so I don't know if I had a crocodile on my over my car and the veil on the back, so it's easy to find on the on the shop's parking lot. So there's crocodile and veil. You can find your your car very easily. And um, if you had unlimited unlimited money or unlimited funds, what what would you do? What would you build? I would do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just camping, camping all the time, oh badly. I don't know. I'm quite happy right now with my boats. I, I, I have too many. I don't, I don't need any boats. I don't, I don't know. I spent more time on, on waters, I think so, not building. But I like building. That's, that's one thing. It's a kind of hobby. If I'm not building a boat, I'm doing something else, saving a tent or something like that. All right, cool. All right, um, so last last call for any questions then for the floor. Uh, David. Yeah, I, I, I just, it's more, I'd just like to say, um, I camped overnight in, in the Ocean Explorer and just, I think it's hard to get across how much room is in that boat and how comfortable it is. It was re it's really comfortable and there's a lot of room. Um, you wouldn't think so. And then I love the way you could just, pop the hatch and sit up and make coffee and or make your breakfast just where you're sitting you can still be in your sleeping bag and um also uh like it's like two story you can sit up in the um cockpit under the the awning i built the same awning the one for the osgoose 
explorer and you you sit in there and you can make your your dinner and, and sit out of the rain and then you go downstairs and and sort of sleep uh, it's it's a great design uh, it's just like to say um it's hard to get across because it's only an eight foot boat and most people would look at it and go how does that work but it, it works very well and um yeah mm -hmm. it was a great design yeah they sold it very well to me <laughs> <laughs> but i'm really looking forward to spend some time in it yeah very good thanks okay uh simon I was just wondering if you get a lot of mosquitoes in the lakes in Finland, and how do you deal with that, if you do? Yes, they, there is. Actually, in the lakes, there ain't so many if you go to rivers. In the spring, you go the, near the rivers. I have a story when we, I was in a boy scout and there was a German boy with us. We were paddling, paddling on the river and there was a lot of mosquitoes and they, he wasn't used to those and he had a they attack him very very hardly and he said that he will never come to Finland again <laughs> but, but it it, it var varies not every year but the, there have been last year was quite good quite quite bad and then in the spring not now now there's not many insects at all but in the spring there are there can be a lot but if you are on the lake and you go to the small island there ain't mosquitoes so they are only on the bigger places, bigger island, and that's but in the reverse. Can be not every year, but can be really bad. It was last year ago. I was in the spring. I was uh, battling, and uh, there were so much mosquitoes that I just uh, I put my gas away, and I have sausages, and I put the chipper into my tent. I put only fork over the gas burner and burn the bridges there and he sat inside tent there. <laughs> that was, it was terrible, but not always. Can be bad. And if you go to Lapland or more north, it's that much better, worse all the time. Up. More mosquitoes in the north. But you get used to them. Maybe. Do you have flies? Flies. Uh, fly. Like uh, uh, the, well, I look at the dictionary. Sorry. Ones in Australia are a lot bigger, and noisier. Sorry, I don't know what is it. Some kind of mosquito it is, but I don't know exactly what it is. If, if you don't know, you probably don't have them, I think. Maybe. <laughs> All right, um, so I think we're out of questions looking at the floor. So thank you very much for that, Prezi. That was a it was a very interesting talk. Um, Love the videos. And um, actually, do you have do you have any plans to come out to Australia one day? Or have you have you been to Australia before? I don't know. It's a long way to battle. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> well, you of course, if you come to Sydney, you're always welcome to come out with us. Um, okay, and, thanks. And if we see a, a whale, we actually get a lot of whales going past Sydney. But if we see one of them <laughs> that looks remarkably like you, then we'll wave and. And you're going to come in. Um, so Thank yeah, you. if you're coming to Finland, come up, come to visit any time. Right. Okay. It was nice to see you. All right. And thank you very much. I'll stop the recording now. Um, yeah.